Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's uh, Dew here, and welcome to this video. Uh, I didn't record the very start of this video, but here it is. It is a video. <laughs> um, uh, this is a little watercolor piece, and when I mean little, I mean this is a small sheet of uh, watercolor paper from a small watercolor paper pad uh, that um, I'm doing this on. It's watercolor, watercolor pencils, and then a little bit of Prismacolor uh, pencils towards the end. Duh. And you'll kind of see a bit of the paper um, starting to pill up towards the middle of this piece. It's because I really had no idea what I wanted to draw when I first started. I just knew I wanted to make something and, you know, feel very loose with it. So I, I just kind of kept sketching and erasing, which isn't really great for the integrity of your paper, but I didn't really have the option to switching to another piece once I decided when I wanted to draw because uh, this was my last sheet of watercolor paper. So <clears throat> we will, so we just had to tolerate uh, the degradation of the paper and I need to make a little trip to Habe Labe, woo, uh, paper buying trip, very fun, um, or I might order some online, I don't know, I'm not sure, I usually like the immediate, um, gratification of buying something in person, uh, but the thing is, if you go into Hobby Lobby, then the danger of going into a craft store is, uh, purchasing like um things you didn't intend on purchasing which is essentially how i always experience <laughs> going in the hobby lobby um i don't usually grab a basket or anything because uh if i'm only going in for a few things then i let my hands be my carrying capacity and then i'm like okay hold on hold on hold on we got a lot of stuff in our hands wait a second you know, it's too easy to chuck something into the basket, but I really recommend if you're someone who finds yourself buying more stuff than what you intend or buying stuff that isn't or forgetting what you intended to buy, before you check out, always take like a pause and um, like look at everything you have and like make your decisions on what you want, what you don't want, if there's anything you need to compare, you know. Um, even do like a little price tally if that's something that you're looking to do. It's just uh, better to do that beforehand so that you're like not surprised by yourself when you get to the register. It's your money, you know. So this is the best way to not let um, craft stores uh, take it all from you. But it's, it's always a fun trip. So now I have a reason to go. So I'm kind of looking um, forward to that. Yeah. Now this video is coming out after a while. I thought I was going to be um and if you're following me on Instagram, you'll know that this this it's, this picture has been on Instagram for a bit. And I thought I was going to be more regular with my YouTube video, you know, with this every two weeks sort of thing. But then I was like sick for like a week and a half, lost my voice. So had a video recording, no voiceovers, no Twitch streams, none of that. Um, and so then it took me a bit to get back into the groove of things even after I started feeling better. Uh, and, you know, I'm not the best at being sick. Uh, like, I really wanted to do stuff while I'm sick. And I feel like I'm sure I'm like, uh, I would have gotten better a bit quicker if I could have taken a, a chill pill the chill pill that I know that I needed to take that I know that I didn't want to take because I wanted to do stuff but I was so tired um it was really frustrating because I'm like make stuff but I also don't want to hold a pencil but you know I've been back to work and I've been back to drawing and feeling a bit better so um finally you know we're back to doing the creativity whole shebang now i will say this kind of makes me think of like like do y'all ever 
uh, have that experience of like the desire to do stuff when it's least convenient. Like what is the classic? Fixing your life at 3 a.m. <coughs> You know, it's like, I'm going to start working out. I made a diet plan. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to, I'm going to start streaming every week. I'm going to, everything under the sun. I'm, you know, cleaning your room at 2 a.m. Everything's going to be perfect. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it's unattainable that makes us so motivated to do it. (laughs) I'm really not sure, but let me know if y'all ever have that sort of experience. Because it, it, it is certainly one that I'm uh, familiar with. So yeah, I, I'm kind of excited to start being creative again. But I'm trying to make sure I'm approaching it nice and chill. Not putting any pressure on myself. Because that's when art block starts to creep up. As soon as I start to be like, oh, can I meet my own expectations? So this one was really fun too. Because this piece wasn't planned or anything. I just felt like drawing I felt like I wanted to do some watercolors and I wanted to keep it loose I've been having a lot of fun using my prisma colors to um, do the, the lines on um, different pieces of art and sketches and different mediums and all that so uh, and we all know that prisma and watercolors go together pretty pretty darn well um, so this was really nice, especially for adding in those little uh, precise details. And not just because of the precise details, but also, like, um, I guess it's the precise details. It's like I love adding the things like the little hair wisps and whatnot. I feel like, oh, it just, I don't know, it just adds so much more movement and keeps it fun. So. It was really nice to be able to make like a loose piece that I really am happy enough to like share because I like doing loose art but I feel like I don't really share that type. I don't know I usually feel kind of self-conscious about it but I'm trying to like break that feeling down. So as I'm kind of approaching this time of like relaxing more and like making more so that I relaxing more so that I can make more. Um, I am I don't remember what I was going to say uh, I'm hoping that you know maybe you'll see a lot more like loose stuff from me in the future uh, so yeah I'm just going to let y'all watch the rest of this time lapse and so thanks for watching oh I think I'm done <laughs> thanks for watching have a good one